Greetings and welcome to another edition of World Music Safari. In this episode, the Conkhorn. So a conkhorn is basically a brass instrument. It functions exactly like a trumpet or a bugle. And in this particular case, this is a smaller conch. These are pretty common throughout the South Pacific, down into Tibet. In India, you'll see different versions of these throughout the world, including Key West, which is definitely its own culture for sure. This particular one came from Key West and the top was on it. Now, I actually sawed this part of it off and then I made the mouthpiece in the middle. And it is played exactly like a trumpet. Now, you're not going to get a lot of notes out of this. In fact, this is really... I might not even consider it an instrument, though I have seen people play melodies on these by moving their hand inside and out, getting three, maybe four notes, and then switching conks real quickly. But, and yes, it's pronounced conk like bonk. If you go down to uh, Key West and order the conch salad, you might as well be waving a giant flag that says tourist. So uh, it's conk like bonk, even though it looks like conch. So get your conch salad. Um, anyways, this one, we can tell by looking at it, is probably going to be higher than this one. We know this because this one's bigger. But it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be quieter. This one's actually going to be a little bit louder. And this one has a more soft tone, more like a French horn kind of thing going on. But I'm, while well, I made both of these, the thing you have to make sure about conch is the cracked conch in the Caribbean is not going to work because they crack the conch up here, uh, right around this area and if it's cracked it's not going to play it has to have a full shell with a mouthpiece on this side or it's just not going to play the the air will just leak out of that side i mean you could seal it up and stuff but a cracked conch's not going to work you need a whole shell like this one all right enough talking let's demonstrate this thing pretty loud right so i can change the tone a little bit I'm not a trumpet player, as you can plainly hear. Not bad. It's pretty good. Let's try the other one. So it's a lot quieter. pretty good not to follow quite a distance this can actually travel between islands too so a lot of times if they were gonna a call to a different island they'd use these that type of sound will travel very very well over water you can contact the next island to say hey I got a pig roast or whatever's going on but this is a perfect way to uh, contact a different family uh, this is the original cell phone that's pretty loud it's not bad pretty good okay so I'm gonna get a little up close but here's what I did look right in the tip of this you can kind of see I cut the end off of it right right here on the inside you're gonna see that there's a little a little spiral you can get a flathead screwdriver and just kind of pop that out and then file it down in there because otherwise it's not gonna be enough playable room for your lips to move okay so it's the same for this one when I got this there was a little pyramid right on the top. I just took a hacksaw to it, hacked it straight across the top, and then turned it. And the same thing, you can kind of see left over, there's still a little bit of a spiral down there. You'll get a flathead screwdriver, get in there, kind of pop out the little spiral, and then smooth it out as best as you can. And the reason I cut the top off of this particular Triton is you can see it's not really in the best shape. Good Tritons are real shiny. I would never make a Triton horn out of a nice shiny Triton. But in this case, you can see it's kind of pockmarked up, but the holes don't go all the way through, which is why I turned this one into a Triton horn. This is actually my favorite one because it has that nice low frequency that a lot of the other conch horns have. The other ones, it's a little bit high, but uh, I like that one as well. That was my original one, but this one just has a nice kind of a French horn quality to it. All right, gang, well, that's it for this episode of World Music Safari. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. In the meantime, see you in Key West. <laughs>